Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the extreme values of the given function. The function f of x comma y is x cube plus y cube minus 3x minus 12 y plus 20. First, let's find the fx. It's a partial differentiation of the function with respect to x, which is 3x square minus 3. Then fy, partial differentiation of the function with respect to y, which is 3y square minus 12. Now, we have to find fxx, partial differentiation of fx with respect to x again, that gives 6x. Then fxy, partial differentiation of fy with respect to x, all these are y terms, so it is 0. Then fyy, partial differentiation of fy with respect to y again, 6y. And let's name this as capital A, which is 6x, and this is capital B 0 and capital C 6y. Now to find the stationary points we have to equate fx equal to 0 and fy equal to 0. So this gives 3x square minus 3 equal to 0 and here it is 3y square minus 12 equal to 0. So from this 3x square equal to 3 and x square equal to 1 and x is equal to plus or minus 1. Then from here 3 y square equal to 12 and y square equal to 4 and y equal to plus or minus 2. Now the stationary points are when x is 1, y is 2, then 1 and minus 2, then minus 1 and 2 then minus 1 and minus 2. So all the possible combinations of x and y we have written. Now we are going to frame a table where the points, let's take it here, 1 comma 2, 1 comma minus 2, then minus 1 comma 2, then minus 1 comma minus 2. Let's take a which is 6x. Let's take b here which is 0. Let's take C here which is 6y and we have to write the condition. The condition is capital AC minus B square after that conclusion. Let's complete this table. So for each point we are going to find the values of A, B and C. Then we are going to check the value of AC minus B square. Then we conclude. Now let's take the first point 1 comma 2. When I put x as 1 here, we get the value of A as 6. B is 0. Here I have to substitute 2, so it become 12. Now A into C is 72 minus 0, which is greater than 0. Then we have to write even a, b and c also, especially a and c. So this is greater than 0 and this also greater than 0. According to the condition, when a c minus b square is greater than 0 and either a or c is greater than 0, it is minimum. So conclusion is, it is the minimum point. The condition is, a c minus b square is greater than 0, either a or c greater than 0, sorry, either a or b greater than 0, we conclude it is a minimum. Now coming to the second point, here the value is 6 which is greater than 0 and this is 0 and when I put minus 2, it is minus 12. So this is minus 72 minus 0 which is less than 0. When ac minus b square is less than 0, the condition is saddle point. Coming to the next point, minus 1 comma 2, this is minus 6, which is less than 0, this is 0, this is 12, and you multiply minus 72, which is less than 0. Again, the conclusion is saddle point. Then coming to the last point, this is minus 6, which is less than 0, this is 0, and this is minus 12, which is also less than 0. So even here we can put the less than 0, this is greater than 0. And here, product of A into C will be 72. 
and minus 0 is 72 which is greater than 0. And the condition is this AC minus B square is greater than 0 and A is less than 0. So it is maximum point. So based on the condition we have a conclusion for each point. In the question they have given find the extreme values. So it means I have to find the maximum and minimum points that is f of 1 comma 2 will give minimum point. So here let's write the minimum value. So when I want the minimum value I have to use the value of the point as 1 comma 2 and we have to substitute this in the f of x that is x cube plus y cube minus 3x so x cube 1 cube then plus y cube that is 1 cube plus 2 cube then we have minus 3x minus 12y so minus 3 into 1 minus 12 into 2 and the last value is plus 20 so we have substituted all the values of x and y here so this will be 1 plus 8 minus 3 minus 24 plus 20 and this will be 9 minus 3 which is 6 and these two when I combine minus 4 so the minimum value is 2. Now let's find the maximum value. So for finding the maximum value we have to use the corresponding point from the table that is minus 1 comma minus 2. So f of minus 1 comma minus 2. So minus 1 whole cube plus minus 2 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 minus 12 into minus 2 plus 20. So this is minus 1 minus 8 plus 3 plus 24 plus 20 totally when I combine these two minus 9 and plus 3 will be minus 6 then 24 minus 6 is 18 18 plus 20 is 38 so we got the maximum value and minimum value.